All right. So this question came for four marks in the inorganic portion, and I'll give you both the methods to solve it. One is the shortcut method, and uh, firstly I'll uh, give a, a explanation about the shortcut method, and then I'll go for the detailed explanation. So the question says that the number of bonding molecular orbitals and the number of available skeletal electrons in B six H six two minus respectively are, and these are the given four options. Now. Uh, for the shortcut method, you need to know the basic structural formula for closo, nido, arachno, and hypo, right? So uh, for closo, it's B n H n two minus, where n is any integer, okay, uh, and uh, positive in integer obviously, and uh, then uh, B n H n four minus is for nido, B n H n six minus is for arachno, and B n H n eight minus is for hypo. So <clears throat> this is the basic uh, structural formula for closo, nido, arachno, and hypo. Now, if you need to find out the skeletal electron pairs, then for closo it's n plus one, for nido it's n plus two, for arachno it's n plus three, and for hy hypo it's n plus four, where n is the number of boron atoms present. Okay. Now this, uh, for example, now it's given to us as B six H six two minus, right? So there are six boron atoms. And if you go by the structural unit, it is of the form B n H n two minus. That means it's a closo. So the structure of B six H six two minus is closo. And uh, according to the uh, according to the, this shortcut method that I have given you, so the number of skeletal electron pairs is how many? Uh, uh, n plus one. So n over here is six. So six plus one seven. Now there is one thing that you need to know. That this n plus one is the number of skeletal electron pairs. So that means there are seven electron pairs present. Skeletal electron pairs present. So the question says that the number of bonding molecular orbitals and the number of available skeletal skeletal electrons, not pair. So it's asking for the total number of electrons that are present. So that means there are fourteen electrons that are present. Okay. So now, uh, so. We have not narrowed down the answer to either first option or the fourth option because they both have 14 electrons present in the options, right? So we can cancel out three and we can cancel out two. Okay. Okay. So now we need to know the number of uh, uh, bonding orbitals present, bonding molecular orbitals. Now I have tried to look up the answer in a lot of books. And lot of PDF from various uh, institutes, uh, but I was not able to get a conclusive answer. Like I was able to get the answer, but not the reason as to why that is happening, right? So uh, for now, I'll just tell you that how to solve it, and uh, if I uh, get the explanation, I'll definitely give you the explanation as well. So the formula for calculating the number of bonding molecular orbitals, it's given in Mis uh, in Misler and Tarr. Right, Mischler and Tarr. It's given Mischler and Tarr, and it's given as n plus one. So the number of bonding molecular orbitals is n plus one, where n again is the number of boron atoms. Right, uh, it is actually the number n is actually the number of vertices. But if you go for a boron cluster, so there n is equal to number of boron atoms. So if you go by this formula, so in B six H six two minus there are seven bonding orbitals. Because n over here in B six H six two minus is six, so seven bonding orbitals, right? So the correct answer comes out to be first. That is seven and fourteen. Uh, for those of you who do not need the shortcut method to calculate the number of skeletal electron pairs, though I think this is sufficient to uh, for the exams uh, because they do not ask the subjective explanation. But anyway, if still you want to learn, I'll just give you. So the explanation. So the uh, to calculate the number of skeletal electron pairs, you see the uh, firstly how many borons and hydrogens are there. So for each boron, there are three valence electrons, right? For each boron, there are three valence electrons. Okay, uh, because uh, boron has a uh, uh, <coughs> configuration of 2s2, 2p1, right? So in its valence shell, the valence shell, there are three electrons. Okay. Similarly, for hydrogen, there is one. Uh, you take one. Uh, it has only one electron, and that's the valence electron. So, <clears throat> so for hydrogen, you take one electron. Okay. 
so now you see how many number of so we'll take the example of this uh, molecule or uh, this cluster only so you see there's six borons right and six hydrogens so for each boron i said you take three valence electrons so for uh, six borons there are how many valence electrons that is six into three which is equal to 18 electrons similarly there are six hydrogens right so uh, so 6 into 1 that is equal to 6 electrons so this comes out to be 24 electrons okay now <clears throat> if you see there are there's a two negative charge so that means there are two more electrons present so the total comes out to be plus 2 that is equal to 26 electrons okay now what you have to do is <clears throat> there are six boron atoms so for each boron present there has to be one bh bond definitely right so over here there are how many bh bonds there are six borons so there has to be six bh bonds so what you need to do is you have got a total number of electrons equal to 26 and you have six bh bonds so i'll repeat it again that the number of borons that are present in the cluster uh, there are that many BH bonds in that particular cluster. So you, what you need to do is 26 minus. There are six borons, so six BH bonds. So for each B and each BH bond contributes. Uh, basically, it, it does not contribute. Each BH bond uh, for formation of the BH bond, there is two electrons required. So what you do is six my into two. You subtract that from the number of uh, total number of electrons that are present in the cluster. So 26 minus six into two. Okay. So what does this come out to be 14 electrons so this is our uh, skeletal uh, number of skeletal electrons present and if you if you divide this number by two you will get the seven uh, the skeletal electron pairs so there are seven skeletal electron pairs in this cluster and the total number of uh, uh, skeletal uh, electrons present is 14 electrons so this is the detailed way of finding out the number of skeletal electrons present and this n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus 3, n plus 4 is the shortcut method.